Saul Marquez here with the Outcomes Rocket, and today I am at the MedTech Innovator Challenge. Uh, some amazing performances and, uh, and pitches. Today I'm joined by Denver and Ricardo of Organoid Therapeutics. Denver is the CEO, Ricardo is the Chief Science Officer, and let's kick it off with some brief introductions, uh, but I would definitely love to learn more about you guys. So please, uh, tell us about yourself. Um, so, my name is Ricardo Landono. I am an MD-PhD from PitMed. Um, I'm an electrical and computer engineer. I did my PhD in uh, tissue engineering, and I am the uh, chief scientific officer at Organoid Therapeutics. Yep. Uh, my name is Denver Falk. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Organoid Therapeutics. My background is in tissue engineering and regenerative medicine. I got my PhD at the University of Pittsburgh in bioengineering, and I've been focused on artificial organ technologies for uh, the length of my career, and I'm excited to get this technology off the ground. It's a pleasure to meet you guys. And, you know, just uh, first of all, like incredibly rich uh, uh, experience and, and, uh, and depth of knowledge that you guys both bring to the table. Uh, I'd love to learn a little bit more about what you guys believe is the differentiator of Organoid Therapeutics. What are you doing differently and how is it adding value to the ecosystem? Not sure who, who wants to address this one first. Okay. So at Organoid Therapeutics we make artificial organs and uh, the objective of making artificial organs is to offer patients with end-state dis disease an alternative to transplantation or a lifetime of medication. So we are trying to address diseases like diabetes, where a patient would be pretty much uh, having to take insulin for the rest of their life. Uh, so instead of doing that, the alternative that we propose is to give them an artificial pancreas that can be implanted minimally invasively, and with that in mind, they would, not, they, they would no longer uh, need insulin. Yeah. Um, so another differentiator for us is um, our large-scale manufacturing. So we've partnered with Carnegie Mellon University's Robotics Institute and the um, Advanced Robotics for Manufacturing Institute um, to develop this concept of using robotics for large-scale manufacturing of off-the-shelf organs for diabetes, for hypothyroidism, and for other glandular organ diseases. So I think on the manufacturing with robots, that kind of separates us from other companies. That's really fascinating, guys. And we're talking about game-changing stuff, right? So we classify things as iterative, the same, or transformative. We're talking about some transformative stuff that you guys are working here. Uh, tell us a little bit about what makes you most excited about uh, the market opportunity. Um, what makes me so excited is the technologies that are now available that weren't available even five years ago that we can, we can bring, bring together multiple technologies into one product that's off the shelf that we didn't even know was possible five years ago. So the rate at which technology is accelerating really gives us hope that this crazy vision of an organ farms and, and robots growing them, we think that we can make that a reality in five to 10 years. Um, I would say that for me, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'm an engineer, I like science, I'm also a physician, and uh, the prospect of bringing all those things together to develop new technologies, to bring uh, solutions to our patients is what uh, excites me the most. Love it, guys. So, incredible. Are, are you guys currently developing organs today? Has it, has it been done yet? And have they been implanted in humans? I'd love to learn a little bit more about this and the status of it today. I'm not sure which one of you wants to comment on that. Yeah, I'll, I'll start. Uh, so we're funded by the Department of Defense, specifically DARPA, which is the Defense's Advanced Research Projects Agency. So what they have given us money for is to develop a prototype. We have a functional prototype uh, for an artificial pancreas that can cure um, a mouse model of diabetes. So we have something that works. It's a matter of raising enough funds and getting it through the regulatory process to get it into humans and get it into clinical trials. We're focused on soldiers who have battlefield injuries that need off-the-shelf organs and also the civilian population who has diabetes and other glandular organ diseases. Um, so that's, that's where we're at. Um, anything to add? Fascinating. No, thanks for the context. Super exciting. Uh, I know that the viewers of this are probably thinking, and also the listeners, uh, because this is 
being uh, viewed and also listened to on the podcast, uh, they're thinking, my gosh, there's, this is super interesting. How could I learn more? Today is just a teaser. We're here at the MedTech Innovator. You guys are, are looking to raise funds to take this uh, very practical, pragmatic project that you've gotten legs on to the next level. Uh, where can the viewers and listeners go visit you to learn more? And what would your call to action be? Yeah, so um, we're a Pittsburgh-based company, so uh, that's where we're headquartered in Pittsburgh, uh, but we have a global network right now of individuals who are helping this project. Um, if somebody is out there that wants to help us, go to our website, organoidtherapeutics.co, um, and reach out to us on LinkedIn, uh, send us in our emails on the website. Um, anybody that's interested in curing diabetes, curing hypothyroidism, or other glandular organ diseases, we're looking for as much help as possible. Um, we have the Department of Defense uh, behind us. We're looking to get support from the National Institutes of Health. Also, we have Carnegie Mellon University and University of Pittsburgh backing us. So the more that we, people that we can get behind this initiative, the faster that we'll be able to get this technology to people who, and patients who actually need it. So, so um, I mean, fantastic work. Uh, of course, cost is always something that comes up. Uh, you've identified a niche population that you'd be working on. Uh, curious about pricing and, and, and just how this fits into the today's model. Yeah, so for a patient who has diabetes, um, roughly they spend $14,000 a year just on insulin. Um, and whenever you add the comorbidities that come along with diabetes, like um, uh, it's the number one cause of amputee. Um, it's a, a major cause of blindness for patients. Um, those healthcare related costs can be upwards of a million dollars over the course of a patient's life. Um, and it decre significantly decreases their quality of life if every single day, multiple times a day, you have to manage your, your insulin levels and your blood sugar levels. So what we're offering potentially is a one-time curative procedure, an outpatient procedure, um, that is right now it costs roughly $75,000 to $100,000 to grow enough pancreatic tissue that could be functional and therapeutic for a diabetic patient. With the advances of robotics and large-scale manufacturing, we, can get, we think we can get that number down to maybe $25,000 per patient. Um, so that's what we're, roughly what we're looking at, but we need to fine-tune those, uh, those numbers. Well, that's, uh, uh, I love the moonshot thinking. And, uh, and it's inspiring to know that this type of technology could be available at, 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 in my mind, in the grand scheme of things, such an affordable price point. So I wanna thank both of you for, for sharing your vision and, uh, and wishing you guys the best of luck today. Thank, thank you. you so much.